Hello, I'm Sasha. I'm over here uh, at the Computex in Taipei. Well, not nearly at the Computex. I'm at the Freescale headquarters. And Freescale is showing off a couple of different platforms over here. And uh, the one platform that I really love when I saw it already on CES back in January is this Pegatron netbook. Um, it's using a, a Freescale IMX51 CPU running at 800 megahertz. And um, this is right now running at, uh, with a Xandros Linux on there. There's a four gigabyte SSD in it. And look at, look at the size and how, how slim this design is. Um, I can tell you it is like super light. Like I would say 800 grams max. It is just very, very light and thin. But let's take a quick look around the system. So we have a USB 2.0 over here. We have jacks for the microphone and for your headset. Yeah, there's pretty much nothing on the front except of a couple of status LEDs. And here's a 4-in-1 card reader. That is a kind of, what is it? A mini VGA? Or a mini USB? Whatever, we'll check that out. Um, another USB 2.0 um, connector for your um, PSU and a VGA out. Um, let's take a look at the back of this device. Um, I'm pretty sure that the battery is sealed in and that you can just uh, access the hard disk or the SSD underneath this. So I have no clue about the capacity of the battery right now. I can't even tell you how much this device will cost, but I can tell you one thing. It's a very, very good build quality. So the keyboard is um, actually one of the biggest keyboard I've seen on netbooks. Feedback is very, very good. I love the keyboard layout. You know, um, well, except of the main, a little bit small right shift key. Trackpad is pretty decent. We have only a single mouse button, but that's okay. It's bending a little bit over here right now. Well, keep in mind, this is a pre-production unit. So this one is running Xandros Linux. But if you take a look, the one on the left over here is uh, coming with a, with a new Linux distribution that I've never seen so far. Well, let's say the front end is kind of different. It's called Movio Internet Experience Suit. A kind of easy mode for this Pegatron netbook. So you can uh, reach your different categories as media, internet, people, widgets. So, and um, yeah, this is a very, very early stage, I think. Or I can tell you much about this distribution at the moment, but it seems like we can even see some new Linux distribution coming with these Pegatron netbooks. So you see it's pretty easy to navigate around this system or through this GUI and um, yeah, in general all I can say um, looks pretty impressive and it's not getting warm at all. I mean this is fanless, right? It's light, it's fanless, decent build quality, it looks good and yeah, I just can't wait to get my hands on a final production unit and I'm pretty sure that we should do this in the next couple of weeks and I hope that Pegatron is coming to the market with these devices as soon as possible because they seem to be very competitive to me.